like even though we got last the year before, I kind of knew that there was like almost a special feeling coming into it. Like we were ready to work hard and like just come in with passion and force to really achieve our goals. It kind of just felt weird being the oldest now and just being the one that, even though I wasn't a sectional leader, being the one that people still looked up to. And I was like, this is my senior year, like it's all coming together. I thought it was just gonna be like every other season. I was just going through the motions when I started out. But there's something special about your senior year. Coming into this season, I was incredibly excited because I knew my senior year was going to be one I really wanted to make memorable, and I knew that I was going to dedicate myself to every aspect of this program. I was really excited to start the season. I was like, let's go senior year. What did you think of Sweet when it was announced? Sweet? I was like, let's freaking go! Uh, and I thought, you know, Sweet, I played for a Sweet, I played second Sweet. It's going to be pretty, uh, pretty nice music. Sweet, uh, first and second Sweet are two of my favorite pieces I've ever played in symphonic band. And just hearing that that was going to be the music I was playing, I was so happy. One, two, three, one way! Okay, reset, let's do it again. It's been 10, hot, hot! All out. You know what I want? So I was I'm really excited for the, the trump section, especially because we gained so many members. Like, well, last year we were a pretty average section, now we had 14 members. Um, so I was pretty excited for how the trump section would do. I was optimistic about the progression of the show and how we would score at Nats or at any competition that we had. I was just nervous for what the visuals would be or what direction this show would go. Because I just, I heard Sweet and I was like, this is a senior show. This is a way to go out. I'm gonna do everything I can to make this season the best one I can absolutely have. I wanna make every person feel like they have a place here and it's gonna be the best one yet. Once the new people started coming in and we got through like the July camps, I was like, actually I'm really excited about this because I can see a lot of potential in these people and I think we're gonna have a really good season. I think it's, uh, it's the bonds that you make with people that you always know that you have a family to go to and every time you go to practice like it's hard work but in a way it's like super fun. I like that there's such a clear growth and progression you know you can like it's so easy to tell when someone gets better and it's so easy to tell when the band gets better. Bus rides are fun you know we just chill we talk and you know just get hyped for the show hyped for the season you know get to really connect. I feel like it's a time to like get out of my house and do like something active, even though it takes a lot of hard work, but it does pay off in the long run, so I just have fun doing it. I love being at competitions, I love going up and like talking to other bands. Just, oh, talking to other bands makes me so happy. I love being able to help people learn, and I love being able to teach people things they would never otherwise learn. Like there's literally nothing that I love more than just stepping on a field and spinning a flag or a rifle or a saber for eight minutes straight and having just people cheer me on. I love after the season's over and like in the couple days leading like after Nats, just watching all of the rookies just post about how much they love band now. And it, it makes me really happy. I love seeing it. Um, it's my favorite part. I gotta say it's probably like all the people that are in it, you know, got a bunch of friends here. They hang out a lot. It's always fun to rehearsals. We do that like, you know, goof around every now and then. It's the people that really make it. You know, like you put in the hours and, you know, it's the activity that's fun, but it's the people that make it worth it. I could come here and like watch paint dry. And <laughs> as long as like the other people that I march with are here, it'll still be fun just because I enjoy being with them and whenever I'm doing something with them, it's fun. Just having all those friends together playing and marching and sometimes hanging out on the buses and during meal times after practice. It's just a real fun experience to have, to be able to spend time with all those people. And it's really fun. Like everyone says that like their team is like their family. And like I sort of understand that, but when I got to band, I truly understood like this is my family. And then just like you make your best friends while you do this program. Like starting when I had 
two friends now to being like, oh my god, I'm friends with 80 people. That's so cool. I guess I would say that a lot of people are like me. They're really passionate about music. They're really passionate about each other. They're really passionate about hard work. People I meet in a marching band is that they're so non-judgmental. Like, you could literally just like be the weirdest person ever. But um, it doesn't really matter. Like, everybody's very accepting. If you picked any random kid from the school and you said you're going to go an hour without water and you're going to give it your all, they'd probably laugh in your face. That you look at these kids and you say, we're doing another rep, they just start running. And that's what I love to see in kids because that dedication is so rare to find in people. And when you see it in a 14-year-old kid, it's just life-changing. It was stepping on that turf at like 7.30 in the morning, realizing that this is the last time I was going to be here. As we did our final run before we had to like pack up and get ready to go to Nats, uh, I was thinking like this is the last time that we're going to be doing the show before we actually perform it. It didn't really hit me that it was my last practice ever, but I was definitely in a better mood than I would have been at another early rehearsal. It didn't feel like one and I was ready to do more laughs. Or do more reps in the show because I didn't want it to be over. It's going to be our last time uh, on the turf, like us seniors, our last, last time like practicing on the turf. So it was kind of special, surreal at the same time. Oh, I thought it was epic. I like, when we were walking up to the bathrooms, I saw like this and I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty crazy. And showing up and looking at the stadium, it was like, she don't lie. We got there and the first thing I noticed at all the time was how pretty the park was and I thought kind of like it was a sign to how pretty our show was going to be in the future. High mark time with Nick, some factor with Charvel, warming up with Luis. And then marching to the field, that was just like, this is it, like here we go, my last performance ever. Like it really started to hit me once we were all gathered around Mr. Cox, you know, hands on shoulders, eyes closed. It was like, this is my last performance. This is it. And then we walked onto the field and everything hit me at once. And I just started bawling my eyes out. Yo, this is the end. Put it out there, finish the show, get it done. And the sun came out right when we were about to hit like the end of the opener and I was, it was like awesome. Like right when that happened, I felt completely different, started playing better, sounded better, and then from there to the end of the show, like, it was all a blur, but all I remember is hearing, like, perfection.
once uh, once we got off the field, I was like, let's go. Um, I came off with the biggest smile on my face. I just felt so good. Like I came off, there were people around me. I was like, yo, we just did that. Yeah, we just did that. And I was like so excited. And I hear 14, 13, 12. And as the numbers keep going and going and our name not being called, it was like, holy cow, cow. That was like crazy. And then once it got past 10, I can feel my feet. So I was very happy. Like they kept calling our numbers and we weren't last and then we weren't second to last. And when we were seventh, it just, it was like an awesome feeling. So. I wasn't like sad. I wasn't crying. I did not cry on Sunday. I'll tell you, I didn't cry. Uh, not even in the car at home by myself. Lily and I walked off the field holding hands and I literally, like, I could not stop crying. I felt like so, like, honestly, emotionally, like, fulfilled. And then I go into the band room and every, I look in and everyone's just, like, emotional and, like, it was just nice to experience and it was just, like, really nice and warm and wholesome. This season has had a lot of ups and downs and it's been an emotional roller coaster, but I would never give it up for anything. What I really want to say is that marching titans will stay marching titans because, like, just because the program's over doesn't mean the group is. I spent like the back half of the season, I guess, realizing that this is my last shot, so I might as well just make it worth it. So, make it worth it.